I've only owned my Africa Twin for a week, but it's already time for maintenance. That's because this is a two year old bike, and the previous owner supplied me with new brake pads. I'm about to go on a longish ride, so I don't want the pads to fail. It's nine o'clock at night, I've just checked the pads. They'll probably last a little bit longer, but let's get radical and change them anyway. And for your interest, the bike's done 39,000 kilometres. I don't know what to expect, but how hard can it be? I'm using a 14mm socket to take off these two bolts, and I'm thinking that the caliper should just slide off after that. With the two bolts removed, let's see what happens. Giving it a bit of a wiggle, and I find that, ah, it slides onto a couple of sleeves. That's nice. As you can see, there's a bit of life left in those pads, but I'm going to change them anyway. Now, I need to compress the pistons, and the easiest way to do that is with a flat screwdriver with the old pads in place. That was pretty easy. And of course the reason for compressing the pistons is that the new pads will be thicker. Well look at that. That was really easy. They just flick out. I'm just noting which way around the pads go. And it should be easy to put the new ones back in. Everything looks pretty clean in there so I'm not going to bother doing any cleaning this time. Here are the pads I was given. Two sets of these of course because we've got two calipers and they look like they're genuine Honda ones too. Made in Japan. Perfect. You can see that there are little slots in the caliper that those tangs go into. Now the pad, there's a sort of a, a spring clip on the bottom, so those pads need to be sort of pushed down to get the tangs to clip into their spots. Yes, I know I'm using a screwdriver in there, but I'm very careful not to damage the face of the pads. Getting the second pad in is a bit of a fight tit. Ah, excellent. Got one tang in. Now I'll need to push the pad down on that spring so that I can get the second tang in. Ah, there it goes. Very satisfying. With the pads in place and the pistons pushed right back, there's plenty of room to slide it back onto the disc. While you're watching me put these bolts back in, let me explain that I'm not trying to tell you or show you how to do it. I'm just showing you what I've done. Of course, you should take your bike to an authorised Honda dealer. Sadly, I'm one of those weird people who would rather do it myself and know that the job's done properly. But if something fails, I've only got myself to blame. Within this day and age, taking responsibility for your own actions seems to be a very weird thing to do. Nevertheless, maybe I'm just old fashioned.
No, I'm not using a torque wrench. Well, I'm using the torque wrench in my elbow. It's never failed me yet. Of course I do the exact same thing for the other caliper, but I won't bore you by showing you that. Now the last and very most important thing is to pump those pistons back out so that the next time I grab a handful of brake, the brake actually works. There we go, nice and firm now. Job's done. And I just make sure that the fluid level's still up. It's all good. Well, there you go, job's done. You've watched the process in real time, six minutes for each side. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.